dear Jay, we're very close. We're like three peas in a pod. And we have conversations that I'm sure majority of American families do not have. You know, my mom passed 21 years ago. So we're, even though she's not here, we still live our life as if she's here. And all of her teachings have always stuck with us. And we have conversations about how thankful we are to our mom, how she raised us. She raised us to know that we were going to come up in a racist world because we're a mixed family, first of all. Our own grandfather didn't accept us as his grandchildren until my sister and my oldest sister and I were teenagers. My, my dad's father is Caucasian. And um, so, you know, once you realize your own family's not gonna accept you, my, my mom, she's very strong. She raised us in the church and she, she really beat it into our heads that we are not here to please anyone except God. That's it. And, and she told us over and over, they talk about Jesus, they will talk about you, and you are no better than him. So we go back to these teachings all the time. We came up in, in the world where blacks didn't like us because of our features, and of course whites don't like us because of the color of our skin. So we're, we always go back to that about how grateful we are, how mom you know, left us her faith, and, and really you know, taught us to work hard and don't expect anyone to give us anything. Don't expect anything for free. You go out, you work for it, and you will appreciate it. I have the uh, fun task of uh, coming out a lot. Uh, so <clears throat> one of the conversations I've had to have with my family is first coming out. And I said earlier that my favorite toy was a Barbie. So when I came out to my family, I just assumed uh, no one would be surprised because I've said I'm a walking, talking stereotype. Girls were always my friends. Uh, I never really liked to do boy things, if you want to gender things. Uh, so when I did come out, my parents are both raised in the South. They're very religious. So uh, it wasn't easy. And I'll also say my parents are my best friends. I love them with my whole heart. But uh, it was not easy for them to come to terms with me being uh, gay. They kind of came with the thought of if I just didn't deal with it, it would go away. Um, they don't see it as something that you are born with. They see it as the choice that I have made. We have a son who drives. He's 22. And like any 22-year-old, he thinks he's invincible. He can do whatever he wants. And we have to remind him. You have to always keep your hands on the steering wheel. You have to make sure you say everything you're going to do. Speak it out first. Uh, please wear certain clothing when you're going out at night. He thinks his parents are crazy and paranoid, but we know from experience that this is the best way to protect him. So it's kind of a struggle. He is starting to understand what that means, but it is a conversation we have with him and with our daughters. And they don't seem... To they they don't want to understand what it why we have to have this conversation, but we still keep having it, and we remind them. And it doesn't mean that things are bad. You just have to protect yourself at all times. And unfortunately for us, every time you get pulled over, there's a possibility that you're not going to walk away from that experience. So it's scary as parents to have to deal with that. So we're constantly having this conversation. 